going to go down when we're looking at the end bell this way. And then next with some oil on the O-ring. And it goes on, on top of the backup ring. So looking at it from the top down, our O-ring needs to be first and our backup ring behind it. We get some more oil on here. We'll do the right hand end bell. And then our O ring. So now our end bells are ready to put up on this intensifier workbench. And we use some bolts here. Let me use these holes, line up with the holes on the bottom side of the end bell. And we just go hand tight on these. Now we're ready to put the piston plunger and cylinder onto this end bell. And to do that, we're going to put a bit more oil on these O-rings here. And smear it around. Make sure we got some oil on the inside of that oil seal. And we'll go for some oil on the inside of our low pressure cylinder. And then we just want to hold it as square as we can as we go into the oil seal. And push it in. Then we meet up with the O-rings. And come over here. And uh, pull the low pressure cylinder all the way on. till it meets up with the end bell. And it will snap over the O-rings. Then we know that uh, the O-rings are inside here and not getting squished. So, same procedure with the other side, our right end bell. We'll oil these O-rings. Make sure we have some oil on our oil seal. Some oil on the low pressure cylinder. And again, we just want to hold it as straight as we can. Pull it onto the plunger, and then up to the barrel, and then pull it all the way on. So now this is all butted up to one another. We know our O-rings aren't pinched. Now we'll bolt this end down. Again, just hand-tied is good. We want these things to be able to move together if it needs to when we put the tie rods in. The main purpose of bolting this down to this little table here is to keep these end bells parallel with one another. When we put the manifold on, they must be parallel so the manifold fits flat on these oil passages here or they will leak. Next we have our tie rods. Just gonna hold this center section together. And when we take them all apart, these tie rods are made with a fewer amount of threads on one end. So I always like to take our nut and put onto the threads, the short end threads, and bottom it all the way out down to there. And that way when we get it all torqued up and everything looks the same, we have the same amount of thread showing on both ends of the tie rod. So we're going to go ahead and put these in here. And we'll put a, just a dab of oil on each 
Uh, it's more than a dab, but it'll work. As long as we got some oil on each of these threads, so we get a consistent torque when we bring these down. Okay, we've got our inch and the sixteenth wrench and socket. I'm just going to start off by bringing these up until the nuts touch the end bells here, and then we'll start our torquing. Okay, that one's touching. Nope. That one's there. Okay, now we'll start off. I'm going to start at 20 foot pounds. I'm just going to go around, I'm probably not too far off when we do a crisscross pattern on these. So we're bringing it down square. So we're there. Now we're going to go to 40 foot pounds. Our next step will be 60 foot pounds. Now to 80 foot pounds. Step is a hundred foot pounds. And our last one here is a hundred and twenty foot pounds. Okay, I'm just going to go right around them and make sure nothing's changed or moved on me. Okay, so we're torqued up, ending at 120 foot pounds there. Okay, we've got our high pressure cylinders here. Also, our high pressure seals. We'll start off with our high pressure seals putting the red o-rings on them and these o-rings are pre-lubricated so we don't have to put anything else on them we just snap them into their groove here and they're ready to install so that's all four of them we're going to put them in on a static end first here and the reason we do that is because it's flat on this end if we were to start and put our seal in on this end first, when we flip it over to put the opposite seal in, it will knock that cylinder, seal out that side of the cylinder. So we'll take our high pressure seal installation tool and screw on a static end here. And it's a good idea to put your finger down inside there and make sure there's a nice transition into the cylinder. This piece is tapered so it will squeeze the seal and the hoop ring as it goes in. So if we have this in 